Thank you for taking the time today to view this IT Profits REM Tools video. In this video, we will review the various methods for creating forms and workflow documentation. We'll start by conducting a simple search for forms. We'll search where the form name is like HPD. So we pull back all of the uh, forms. Let's we'll start with HPD. And as you can see, we pull back a results list with 53 entries. We'll go ahead and select all the entries in the results list so that we can print each of all of them. After selecting the entries, we'll select the Print Objects button. And selecting this button will bring up a dialog form that will display the objects in a view field. Once the objects are displayed in the form, you can scroll through the objects to view what you have selected for printing. <clears throat> now, although all these objects appear in the same browser window, there is a page break between the previous object and the next object so that the beginning of, the, of each object will print on a new page. <clears throat> Once you're satisfied after scrolling through the objects, you can go ahead and select the print button. Once your objects have printed, go ahead and close the window. Now all forms and workflow can be printed in this manner including active links, filters, escalations, active link guides, filter guides, web services, and menus. Fields and applications cannot be printed in this way because the data associated with those two selections are not saved in the database. They are built dynamically upon selection. Printing from the user tool is different than printing in the mid-tier. For instance, if we conduct the same search that we just conducted on the mid-tier, obviously we'll get the same 53 entries, and we'll select those for printing, and select the Print Objects button. After we select the Print Objects button, we'll be prompted to save a file. This means that when printing from the user tool, we have to first save the objects selected in a file, and then we can open it up and print them. So we'll go ahead and give this a file name. The file name must have an HTML extension. The save file as type will be ignored. Go ahead and save the file. Once the file is saved, the file can be opened using Internet Explorer. And it can be printed like any other web page. right click, select print, and print your documentation. Utilizing the user tool, you also have a, uh, a file as a record for what you printed. Another way to create documentation is to simply send this to a CSV file. We select the Create CSV button. Because we're on the mid-tier, it'll send the results to the browser. Doing the same thing on the uh, user tool, again we'll be prompted for a file. And this time we'll save this as a CSV file. We'll just create, keep the Create uh, Report CSV. We can open that in Excel. As you can see, we have all of our forms, the type of form, the default view, and some other information. So these are two ways to very quickly and easily create documentation for your forms and workflow utilizing the REM Tools application.